All right, you guys. In this video, I'm going to run through how to do the wraparound shot on every single control scheme and whether you are playing on default or the claw way of holding. So I'm going to go through everything and let's get started. The first one I'm going to go over for you guys is the default in it control scheme or default control scheme while playing claw. It is the easiest way to do the wraparound shot because you don't have to remove your fingers from the analog sticks and while you're pressing a button so all you're doing is literally hitting a cover pressing up on your left stick pressing a shooting and then holding a so you can keep going or you can pull back on your left stick and hold a so you can go a different direction so it's all, it's all just like timing your shot once you get to like this halfway point so all you're doing is aiming on the inside of the cover. If you were to not up it and just hold this cover, it would be like you're looking over this cover right here. But maybe your shot will come out just like that. See? Perfect. Default way of doing this is harder because you do have to move your right thumb from your right stick to your A button and back. Or you have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> what you're doing right here is sliding, looking, going. It's harder to uh, change direction. A lot of people like to go backwards just because it, you know, it tends to, to help out, especially with the angle. I think it's actually harder to go forward, to be honest. But it's um, all of these throughout every single control scheme is literally the same pattern. It's just learning how to do it uh, while playing on your way of playing the game. But everything, everything is literally like the same inputs, except for playing on all because you have to add in uh, X since the roadie run is different. It's on a different button than uh, grabbing a wall is. So for tournament, you literally press LB instead of A, and you do the same thing as you would on like on claw defaults in it, because you don't have to remove your uh, you don't have to move your your hand from your left stick, your right stick, or anything like that. So you get to stay on the A button. That is the biggest advantage. That's one of the biggest advantages of having good mobility is uh, the ability to play without uh, moving off of any type of button. So whether you're playing paddles and can press the A button on the back of your controller or you're playing claw or you're playing tournament, um, you want to be able to have mobility where you don't have to move your hands off buttons and you can you know, press everything, press like every button while being able to move your uh, joysticks. Only downfall is you will lose a little bit of accuracy, but you'll gain that back over time as you get more used to holding your controller in the claw style or, or scuff or, you know, whatever you may choose to play. All right, so on going with this video, uh, next is the tournament way of, of doing the wraparound shot. You see how you like wait like half a frame just so you can see your opponent's like head and you uh enter the like the end of the up A. So your character still crouched like like as if he's coming out of a roadie run and that's when you want to shoot. It's right when you come around the corner. It's pretty fast. So you can also look at the timing of when I shoot uh by looking at the controller interface on the right side of the screen. Definitely be using that when watching this tutorial, it's very helpful. And you see how my shots are coming around right around the corner, right into this wall. That is exactly what you want. Because no matter where he sits inside this wall, he will still get hit by the shot. And it feels like uh, when you aim backwards, you actually get the most accurate wraparound shot for the most part. Well, I'm actually uh, I'm aiming that wrong. Yeah, I was doing it way too uh, too far. Aiming out here. And that's that would be a vast difference for you guys. See, like I made a mistake right in front of you. When you aim these um, these wraparound shots, make sure you, you aren't far to the left or you aren't perfectly lined up because then it just changes right to a regular up A and then your shots will come out this way or over here. You have to tightly put your um tightly and accurately put your like your screen in this direction so you can hit this like corner of the wall. And you don't want to aim too far in because you'll hit your side like this. You don't want to do that. But if you can see your opponent over over the cover, you can most likely hit him with the wraparound shot. All right, so next we have classic alt. Same thing. Um, now you are just adding in, uh, pressing your X button. 
instead of using A to ready run after you do your wraparound shot. Pretty pretty simple. This cover itself is already hard to wraparound shot. So if you get this down on this cover, you'll be good to go on literally every single cover. Like that that was a perfect timing. Like a, a half a second after because he's actually deep into the corner. So I'm just constantly repeating it. You guys can uh watch what I'm doing. So do the same thing. This cover right here is uh is used a lot to do a wraparound shot. You see it's not as thick. And it doesn't have like these little these little edges. Uh, that's where your shot will come around the corner from. Not the bottom. And it's also easier if your opponent is on the edge of the cover. Because their head is a little bit exposed, so you'll probably get a headshot sometimes. But on a thicker cover like this, what you would have to do um, is you have to delay your wraparound shot like that. And that wraparound shot is more effective when your opponent's already a little bit hurt. And it could, it's a little um, dangerous because if you do just crack your opponent, you've now entered a chunk range so they can get off the cover and literally walk at you. So you definitely want to use that when your opponent's already hurt so you can play for a one shot down. Um, you can use that on even wider covers like the cover that's called Eye on Asylum. Um, it's right it's right in the middle of, of the two tracks and it's where the boom shot spawns. So I'm pretty sure you guys probably know what I mean by saying that. So uh, yeah, the wraparound shot is a very useful shot. But don't just go around sliding every wraparound shot because they will do it before you. The best way to have an effective wraparound is when you're on a thick cover, uh, let your opponent up and to you first and, and literally just counter it with your uh, your up A or your wraparound shot and you'll often be one on winning the situation. Uh, usually if you are the first one to go for wraparound shots when you and an opponent are across from each other on cover, you will probably die simply because they're holding a shot and you fully expose yourself when you, um, when you go for the wraparound first. Alright, um, I'm not going to be playing on face trigger or shooter because I don't think anybody plays on that control scheme. I also don't think they're good control schemes in this game either. So, yes, this, uh, con this video was only over the three main schemes, tournament, all, and default. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys were able to take away uh, how to get the wraparound shot correctly and how to learn it and how to, how to just execute it right. So... Hope you guys got everything down. If you guys have any questions, if I missed anything, make sure to comment below. Um, I would love to answer you guys' questions. Pull up to the stream, ask for advice, anything like that. Just let me know. And I would be sure to help you. So make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe to this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.